the world of artificial intelligence, there's a new player in town, Google Gemini. This powerful language model is being hailed as a competitor to ChatGPT, the popular AI chatbot from OpenAI. What is Gemini? Gemini is a large language model, LLM, developed by Google AI. It's trained on a massive dataset of text and code, allowing it to generate human-quality text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. What can Gemini do? Gemini has a wide range of capabilities including generating text, like poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email, letters, etc. Translating languages, answering your questions in an informative way, even if they are open-ended, challenging, or strange. Following your instructions and completing your requests thoughtfully. Both Gemini and ChatGPT are powerful language models, but they have some key differences. Gemini is trained on a larger data set of text and code, which gives it a wider range of knowledge and abilities. Additionally, Gemini is able to access and process information from the real world through Google Search, which gives it a significant advantage over ChatGPT. Take a look at how powerful Gemini is. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. You can see how Gemini detects drawings in real time and tells us what you are doing. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! Gemini is a next-level AI tool. You can see how it detects a duck drawing. What do you think about Gemini? Let's find out more. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black, or white. Well, it is smarter. It is real time tells us that ducks usually don't have a blue color, which is even cooler. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. You can see how it detected that plastic duck. I think this might be the end of ChatGPT. However, let's explore more and see if there's anything else it can surprise us with. The journey with ChatGPT continues. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high, level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called, Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue 1. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue 2. This country loves football, and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice! I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth. A dog. Sweet! The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm, I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. 
Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. Gemini is still under development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers. With its ability to generate human quality text, translate languages, and answer our questions in an informative way, Gemini has the potential to change the world. Is this the right order? No, the correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new about Google Gemini. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.